take tape and they'll stick it to a block and a string and they'll put that down in a box and the mail then sticks to the tape and they pull it out and now they have access to all the mail that was in the mailbox. So that's how they do it. New here at 430 from the blue boxes outside the post office to even your mailbox at home. Police are battling mail thieves claiming the crime is low risk but high reward. So now Metro is speaking only to 8 News Now about this growing trend and violence that's actually stemming from it. 8 News Now reporter Ryan Maffey explains the fast cash these criminals are looking for. Pop this wing open. No part of the Vegas Valley is immune. I feel violated. They stole some of my identification. So our mail is not secure. In the dead of night, a getaway car rolling up to mailboxes and taking whatever's inside. Police say the problem has gotten worse, especially in affluent communities like here in Summerlin. In all, it only takes about a minute for thieves to empty out entire mailboxes just like this, getting craftier and more violent to get what they want. Criminals believe that if you go to a more affluent area, there's going to be better credit cards, we need better bank documents. Mark Evans is a detective within Metro's financial crime section, saying the increase of online shopping during the pandemic helped thieves blend in. But first, they had to find an identity. If you get a universal key, you pretty much will get access to an entire side of town. Like this one, called an arrow key, that opens several mailboxes in an area. And there was an individual standing there pointing a rifle at me. The mail carriers are now increasingly the subject of assaults for those keys that are then duplicated, sold for thousands, and used to access mail of value and run the gamut of fraud. They can't uh, get a job because now someone's used their identity and they've gotten arrested using their identity. Metro recorded around 600 mail theft incidents last year. Of those thieves caught, 16 had counterfeit or stolen mailbox keys. They'll say, okay, I'll go to prison for, or I'll go to jail for a few months, but I'll make $50,000. And in a transient town like Las Vegas, with casinos acting as a 24-7 bank to cash fraudulent checks, this detective is hoping to deliver results. The last thing we want is, you know, our, our public servants to feel like they can't do their job. Proponents now pushing a new federal law which would harshen prosecution and improve mailbox security if it is passed. In the meantime, Metro says do not send any physical checks in the mail. Avoid the blue steel boxes outside the post offices as well, according to them.